What's your topic? So we obviously were in the half marathon that oh, we Connie keep talking here? about. Hey, Connie. Hey, Connie. We're almost done. We're doing the last topic. And we were talking about how awesome you did <laughs> yesterday as well. Yeah, we talked. We complimented you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get some good stuff at the grocery store? Yeah. Did you get my popcorn? Yeah. Yeah. Because I get to eat bad today because we ran so much. Popcorn's my treat. Oh, I love popcorn. The Chicago mix popcorn. That's a, you know, a preamble and all this stuff. We oh, do yeah. The, we do the um, uh, popcorn's like top. It's like a top five vice for yeah. me. I love popcorn We've so been much. eating like kings and queens because of this half marathon. So yesterday we had our Pequods. Pequods. Today we had the best wings we've had. I think, oh, yeah, we have to spring this up. Mash in Chicago. Mash Kitchen. Uh, Mash Kitchen. Thank you. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, think, I've been thinking if I've had better, I'm talking about in Chicago, in this city, if I've had better wings and I can't come up with anything. So I think that Mash Kitchen has the best wings I've ever had. I'm happy that you said that because I've been talking these wings up for like a month yeah. now at least. And um, we went there today and had a beer and sat outside and yeah. enjoyed the day and had some wings. We're, it's and, a Monday uh, right now and we're not, we didn't, we took the day off work because we ran yesterday. So we enjoyed so, the day, doing the podcast, having fun. So that's my popcorn. That's my, uh, my treat tonight. Um, but to talk about the half marathon, we, we kind of talked about this a little bit last night, enjoying the celebration of... It was a good night last night. After awesome. the run, we got awesome. some rest and we had some friends with us and it was good. Um, to now p- possibly travel to the next destination for maybe another race, you know, making kind of like a mini vacation out of it. You know, you, we talked about going to New Orleans with some friends. and One of my favorite cities, man. I'd so, go, if, you, if we actually had some planning, you say, New Orleans... I'm down. Yeah. I love it. And I, I think that would be, if you go with like th- three, five people and you make a, a long weekend and you run this half marathon and you travel while you do races. I'm sorry, Connie, you're fine. You don't have to be so ninja-esque. I promise <laughs> you're fine. It's your house. Shh. We're shooting in Jeff's and Connie's place right now. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, but it, I think it would be awesome to make like a mini vacation out of it. Like you go there and run and then you kind of party it up in the town that you're traveling to. So, so is and New so Orleans is perfect. Is the topic it. really like traveling? It's, it's mainly like, is it, is it kind of like a bucket list places we want to travel to or like I'm a, things to things that we could do when we go to a destination? So I think both. I think I just okay. wanted, we talked a little bit about the half marathon. So I just want to say traveling for that. But I, now really the whole topic is traveling in general. See, there's a part of me though. And not airplane rides. Like I'm how, talking like how I'm feel how I felt last night and today. Can you do this on the road? It, well, I, it's not that I can. I can do this on the road. It's just about I want to enjoy the city, and I'm gonna. I think like I don't know after running a half marathon yesterday if I could spend a whole day walking around a city today. You know what I mean? I, could I do that? I think so. Yeah, especially after your first ones in the books. Connie, could I do that? You think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think so? No, I think so. New Orleans, nah. that's what I was saying. Nolens, that's flat. That's all swampland. Never that's actually. There, so I, don't know. I don't know this. I had said this in my last podcast with Grant, and I didn't look this up because uh, Danny's on the show fixing the facts, and he should be fixing the facts, even though he's in Detroit right now. But he's not listening to this podcast, so I can talk shit about him. Ha! <laughs> um, I I'm almost positive. No, I'm not almost positive. This is what I just some the, the memory banks that I have right now. That I think the three flattest states. Illinois. In the country, Illinois is. In, I don't know number one. Actually, no, Il- not Iowa's not in the top three. It's um, Illinois is the flattest state that's not in the South. Okay. The other two is um, Louisiana and Florida because of the swampland. Okay, but I Makes think sense. that Illinois is. It's like there's two swamplands, right? and then Illinois and being that flat. But I remember Iowa when you go into the land. It's like it's actually you hit hilly. some hills right when you you drive in there. It's kind of like going out to Galena, which is on the border of Iowa, and it's really hilly out there. So yeah, can, I've never been to Iowa, so I, f- I feel like it's probably very similar. But I want to look that up. The flattest states in the country, but I, I I wouldn't. I always thought Illinois was in that like top three or top five. We'll have to look that up, Danny. Danny, you're here's your work, buddy. Can I'm you calling fix you out. The you're facts. not on the show, but you're gonna be you. No, you have to do this because you're gonna be on the next episode. This is gonna return right. episode, so you have to look it up. Give me the three. Flattest states. I'm gonna to totally call him out next episode. So yeah. fix the facts, Danny. He's Wait, like, what? Ah, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put him on the spot. Son <laughs> of a bitch. Love it. Yeah, I gave you shit today. I'm call- I'm giving him shit because he's giving you shit about being a Tigers fan today. You see that? Yeah, I did. Ha! I did. I okay. Did. So we're talking uh, about half marathon in New Orleans, which I would love to do. The humidity factor could be crazy. It's in February. So what? It's I, I New Orleans. Know, I, I, I don't know. It's true. I'm thinking like Chicago. Weather. I went. I went to Houston, Texas in October. <laughs> I could not. I I was. 
I could not emphasize enough how humid it was. Oh, yeah. It was October. I was just walk, like this is. I felt like I'm swimming walking on the sidewalk. It was so humid. And Houston and New Orleans are their neighbors. They're right it's there. True. Um, yeah, that could be an issue. I don't know. What you drinking? <laughs> La Croix. Oh, I like that. The coconut one, right? Yeah. That's your favorite. Pongo. Look at Pongo. Just chilling. Just chilling. So let's. Th- the um, cats didn't bother us at all for the podcast. No, he fell asleep. <laughs> He's like, we're boring the cat so much, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Uh, it's the hum of our voice. Uh, yeah, we have uh, soothing voices, but I'll take it as a compliment. You got your back, cat. So, a question, though. So, we talked about travel with like a race, but um, w- is there a destination out there that you, it's like uh, maybe your bucket list? Like, I have to go there before I die? Yeah. Um, I, I think, I don't know if I've said this on the show before. Okay. We've talked about uh, traveling in terms of bad. Um, Bad Air, airport, airport, air, yeah. airport stories. Um, about, traveling. Don't worry about the traveling, getting there. What's the destination that you want to see? Yeah, one of the things I really want to do, um, and it's always annoying, like, oh, I should always do this. It's always time and money, time and money, time and money. It's like, it's it's such a dumbass excuse, and I just really want, yeah, I, that's, that's the biggest I need to visit my, first of all, I need to visit my friend Steve in LA. Steven. I got to do that. Steven. Um, Steven. I like Steve. He's my oldest friend. Have you met Steve? I'm, uh, Never met Steve? He's my oldest know. friend. I met him since second grade. He's a doctor now in LA. I don't think so. I he's see. engaged to his longtime boyfriend, Raf, uh, who's an actor. Nice. He is a stud. He's a black belt. Oh, he's sweet. a karate instructor as well. He's a stud. Yeah, um, if he ever comes out here, we should grab a beer. Oh, dude, yeah. Steve's great. Steve, though, now that he's a doctor, he all, he, you know, he, he, he's wearing like really nice. He's, oh, he's yeah. making bank, you know? I'm sure. So when we came here last time, he's, we're going to this restaurant downtown. He picks up the tab. Like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. I have to deal with this the rest of my life now. Dr. Bauer. I'm sure he's paying off some uh, oh. student loans. Though. Well, he said he's making more money than he expected. He's like paying off his loans Good. like in half the time that he Good expected. Job, so, yeah. But I mean, he earned it. I mean, yeah. it's like 12 years of school right there. So, and hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, yeah. So top destination. So my, my, I've always wanted to do this trip. I always wanted to fly to Seattle, experience Seattle, then rent a car and travel to Vancouver. North. So Canada. two weeks, one week. Uh, get, I'm guesstimating here. About a week in Seattle, maybe not even that long. Rent a car, go to Vancouver because I heard Vancouver is like New Zealand sure. in terms of it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous there. Um, so I, I want to do that. I'd like to, you know, experience two things once, and it's not, it's not a far drive from Seattle to Vancouver at all. Oh uh, yeah, probably five six hours. I'm I, guessing. I'm guessing yeah. something like that. Always wanted to do that. Um, so you get to experience the, you know, all the people who are rainy and depressed and drink coffee, <laughs> and then you have the outdoorsy, hunting, yeah. fishing, skiing. There's people. a lot of snowboarding, and skiing up there. Yeah, I would like to experience those two cities, um, very much in one trip. I'd like to do that though. Um. Lots to see in Seattle. I'm a big coffee drinker. I like to see that culture. I like to see. The, uh, I like to see a little bit of the where you know a lot of our our bands that we grew up with, where they originated from. Yeah. Um, uh oh. Um, we you got know, Alice in Chains and Nirvana and all them. Oh yeah. Um, that's, that's funny that you said because I um, we talked about travel, but you chose the United States destination. Well, because that's you know what my dad always said. He's like, don't worry about the world right now. Like, there's you have a whole country you can discover, and it's true. there's so many places in this country. However, you know when you're younger, it's better to experience the world. I think at the same time, um, that's the first thing that came to my list. But the, trust me, there's a lot of international. Oh, I'm sure, but that, I, that, I think that's kind of cool and interesting that you chose. Seattle on a, on a driving trip up north, like that's. Well, I think that's, that's the most manageable. Like it's it, it, like I could do that next sure. month if I wanted to. You know, um, what comes to my mind, like a big um, vacation is Machu Picchu. Ooh, I would love to do that. And it's kind of like new for me that I've been. Why thinking Machu about Picchu? That. I don't know. Like it's actually very new for me that I've been thinking about this. Like I saw a picture of it and I was like, and I knew uh, an, a friend back in the day that went there and said it was like the best trip ever. And I was, and I just started looking it up and seeing like the, tr- the Inca trails or the Inca ruins, sorry, and like all the trails up there and just like the beauty of the area. I'm gonna fix some facts for Danny right now. Is that the second largest in the world or the third? The mountain? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm gonna go with four. <laughs> <laughs> There is a mountain, right? I'm not making no, this up, right? Yeah, yeah the Machu Picchu. Yeah, on yeah. Top of like a mountain. Yeah, yeah, but it's like it's one of the toppest, like toppest. It's one of the <laughs> top Tallest. largest mountains in the world. Isn't sure. It? Yeah, it takes like if you're gonna hike it, it takes several days to get there. Even if you train it up there, it still takes like two days to train mm. it up the mountain. I'm so happy you didn't say like I want to 
climb Mount Everest. No, I'm so I, th- I find anyone who does that is just that's nuts. It's just these rich white businessmen who who pay these Sherpas to help them out. Yeah, we got a kitty. Got visit. Not, she's not. She's not on uh, camera yet. We got a visitor. Got a visitor. Um, I have like there was that movie Everest that came out last year, September October. Yeah, <laughs> you're trying to, get, trying to get the cat up here. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm just talking you're like kitty cat. <laughs> Yeah, um, that movie Everest that came out last year. I have no. I had like no interest in seeing that because it was like a bunch of these 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 rich white yeah. guys who just climb a mountain and a disaster happens and they have to go back to their families. Like you guys are the idiots for climbing on this mountain. I don't care if you live or die. Like that's the thing. I have no. I just don't care. Yeah. It was not like the movie Alive where it was like a plane crash and it's like that. It was out of their control. And they sure. had to survive and then they ate each other. True story. Um, <laughs> But like Everest was like these guys, let's climb Everest because that's because it's the greatest achievement ever. Yeah, and then they, I'm like, I don't care if you live or die. I just, yeah, I don't. That's not a that's, that that doesn't uh, interest me whatsoever. So Machu Picchu though, Machu Picchu. Um, if you want to talk about the United States, I Alaska. I really want to go to Alaska. Um, I had an. Where oper- Julia is. Yeah, I think she might be there now. If not, she was there. Um, I had an opportunity in high school to go there, and I passed on it. Shouldn't have. I got invited to go on a boat for fishing for three months during the summer at 18 years old. Why don't you dig it? All expenses paid, and you got paid for the trip. I would have gone out there on the boat, fishing in a whole new environment, didn't know anyone. Someone said, we got an open spot. Do you want to do it? Why didn't you do it? Girlfriend. Oh! She just, I, <laughs> at the time, she was like, eh, Young no. love, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? And it's a, one of the biggest opportunities that I've missed in my life is that I, I wish I spent three months in Alaska on a fishing boat. Where is she now, huh? Maybe she's gone. I hope she's flipping burgers somewhere. Probably working at <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah. <sighs> Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Taken away from the lifetime opportunity. <laughs> one of my biggest regrets, um, it's not, actually, it's not a regret. It can't be a regret because um, one of my uh, toughest things I ever tried to learn in my life was um, foreign language. That goes with all language. It goes from computer language. I tried to do a computer um, scripting class. And sure. it's like learning a whole language. And yep. um, I was really bad at Spanish in high school. It was one of my worst subjects. I was great at math. I was great at English, history. Math, uh, uh, Spanish, was that brought my GPA down significantly. Um, and if you took three years of a foreign language, we only taught two in my high school, it was French or Spanish. And you had to take two. So if you took the third, you could get a trip you can go to, to a Spain and then every other year it would be France. Okay. So it depends if you're a junior or senior. So you either, so if you're studying Spanish, you could go either your junior or senior year uh, to Spain, depend, um, you know, what year they went previously. When you, know you mean saying? get a trip, is it, do they pay for it or do you have to pay for it? Uh, it's, Primarily paid by you, okay. But the school the does take the, sco- the school. The opportunity and a lot of other things are taken care of through the school. Okay. But I went to a Catholic high school, and they, you know, goddamn, they just milk you for everything. Oh yeah, yeah it, sure. it's horrible. That's the only problem with high school. It's just they milk and dime you for every little dollar. Um. But that was an opportunity I missed was going to Spain in high school, and I really would have liked that. So this turned into almost like a missed opportunity topic here. Well, no, which is a good thing. You said two things. Well, it's, I mean, it's traveling, yeah. but it's missed. It's 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 missed opportunities. Um, part of my ignorance right now, Machu Picchu. Where is that? Uh, I maybe fix the facts. I want to say Peru. I think it's Peru. I That's think what it's I, I was South. gonna say. I was gonna say Peru, but I was like that South America. Yeah. I want to say it's Peru. Okay, confirm. I'm almost. Yeah, I thought it was Peru. Thanks, Peru. Danny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll take her like four days to find that. Okay. Googling's overrated. Yeah. Siri. Uh, <laughs> just play with the kitty cats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's in my bag. I love it. Yeah. Um what about um Internationally? Tropical destinations. Um Are you a the, beach person? Um I'm becoming more of one. Um I think that's a big thing, like I've been saying, like I've been wanting to move to Chicago. It's been um I'm not saying I, I have to get out of here, but I've been talking about it a lot recently. Mainly because I just want to be in a warm well environment year round. Uh, I'm really, really tired of the winters here, and I think more, more so. I'm visiting my folks, and you know, they're retired in Florida, so I'm in the beach sure, more. So sure. I'm becoming more of a beach person. Have you ever um, done like um, all inclusives, like Mexico? Never done all inclusive anything. Yeah. I, I, but my traveling has been weird because I travel a lot in the United States, but I've been to Canada, Mexico, Ireland, and England. There you go. That's, that's all. My, that's my traveling. Oh, okay. I mean. 
Um, I never really went to anywhere. I never went anywhere tropical. I never been to like Jamaica, Bahamas. Never did anything like that. Uh, never went to like. Uh, I've been to California. Again, that's all I'm, United States. I haven't really been that international. I've done three or four Mexico trips, all with friends or girlfriend. Um, so like the no ones one, that allow you to travel. Well, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking like family trips. Like I went on my own or with a girlfriend or friends or something like that. Three times, four times in Mexico, Bahamas. Mm. Um, Antig- See, I'd like to go to the Bahamas. Antigua, I like that. Oh, Bahamas are like gorgeous. Danny went ridiculous. to Costa Rica about a year or two. Uh, last year, he went to Costa Rica for a wedding, a family wedding. His entire family went down there. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. The cat. Is- you are distracted by the cat. <laughs> I am. You're, I'm you're, sorry. You're, you know I'm what's so funny? It's like they're your cats know, too and you're distracted. I'm sorry. For me, it's like. They can't see the cats and I'm sorry, but my cat is pretty much upside down looking like a moron. <laughs> so. It's the one he dropped. Remember yeah, that? Remember true, we talked yeah. about that earlier? Yeah, absolutely. Super pillow, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to call you super pillow from now on, Bongo. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, Costa Rica, though, I, it's one of the things I would like to go to. One of the I think my big trip. Coast, I definitely want to do something tropical first. I'll okay. finish your topic there. Finish your, your, your statement there. I, um, tropical, I'd like to. I don't know what. I don't know much about the tropical. Um, Costa Rica, Bahamas, uh, Jamaica. Sure. Take a pick. Maybe You know what I actually heard to do is do a cruise. Yeah, I don't, cruises have zero interest for me. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe because I'm like, I like the, that they go to the destinations, like the different islands, but I'm, I don't want to be stuck on a boat eating shitty food. Ah, good point. You know what I mean? Um Probably my big one, the biggest of the big, is New Zealand. Um, uh, that's a 22-hour flight. Oh, that's um, brutal. That sucks. That's the biggest turnoff. 22 hours, that's a long time. Uh, um, but I heard from the very few people from there, from personal, um, that it is the most beautiful country in the world. I believe it. Um, and if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, enough that's said. Another film there. <laughs> I would love to do a destination with friends. I, I've been saying this for years is like get like your closest friends of like five, six, seven people, whatever. And then go to like a Mexico all inclusive trip, like Puerto Vallarta. Plan next year. I, I well, actually plan this fucking winter. I don't want to deal with the winters yeah, anymore. I mean, that's what we should do is like go in the winter time or in the, like the early 2017 when it's still like cold like february but like i thought we we're going to new orleans in february th- well we'll fly to mexico after that. <laughs> it's closer it's closer it's closer yeah but like just go there w- with a week with your closest friends and just drink and eat and relax and have a good yeah time i haven't I, I remember like, a, f- a friendscation th- you know? see i used to do that in college all the time we would go to canada or go to detroit oh, or like, awesome. canada detroit yeah <laughs> yeah it's all but i mean like we would go on trips is what i'm trying to right. say um, I used to go to the dunes. Yeah, the dunes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but still, yeah, but like all a, the dunes. Yeah, it was fun. But you couldn't. Well, I guess you could drink because you were sure you could. Yeah, sure you could. <laughs> um, I already dropped a bomb one time on the show about underage drinking, and eh, it's out there. I don't care. <laughs> um, yep, been there. So yeah, I agree. Let's all. Um, our advice is to travel more. Time and money will always be an issue. Always. But your life. You only have one life, so dump it. And I'm gonna, and I'm really good at giving advice. I need to take my own advice. Yeah, you only live once. You yeah. Know? So, I will um, be traveling more. I know I will be, um, a lot more. There's no point um, of dying with money in your bank. That's right. So spend it on. That's a great point. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. It's not going to go anywhere. Spend it on yourself. Spend it on. That's traveling. what I tell my dad and stepmom. They, they they retired and they've made really good money. They, they you know they had they own a place in Florida. They're totally well off. And I'm like live like yeah, just you live. are retired you worked 40 years you worked 40 it's crazy. years fucking have fun do stuff do stuff for you now. and they are which is great every you know what they're doing every year every year in april they go to a different country awesome Love like, it. they went to uh italy then they went to they're going to poland this april and they went to ireland they, they, they're just oh, France fan, in that, France. That's fantastic. Yeah, every year they go uh, in April. It's awesome. I'm I'm happy to hear that because my parents don't uh, they don't travel enough. They, my dad doesn't like traveling to the city. He doesn't. <laughs> they're in Vegas now, but they don't like traveling. Um, my mom loves it. My dad doesn't like traveling like international. Compromised or people. Like, that. like if you said you probably couldn't pay my dad to go to like Europe. Aw, anywhere in Europe, you couldn't pay him ten thousand dollars to go. Cause they don't know Bud Light there. But my, <laughs> Budweiser. <laughs> Budweiser. I'm Budweiser. Sorry. Budweiser. Yeah. But my mom would go like that. Okay. All right, Jeff. We yeah. Come to the end. What are we rating? We talked to Alyssa. We did. We talked to Alyssa, and Alyssa um, gave us a little information about um, 
Lagunitas Stupid. Yeah, it's Wit. the first unfiltered beer. That the first have. unfiltered beer. We called Lagunitas uh, on the podcast live. Live. And uh, <laughs> oh, just giving Connie up the date. So we called Alyssa. Alyssa was a little thrown off that she was on a live podcast, but <laughs> she was very nice. And she has nothing um, embarrassed. Uh, I mean, like, uh, uh, good, I think it was a good impression on good, Lagunitas, personally. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we know that this is a uh, the first unfiltered beer, right? Yes. And I um, I like it, but it's not like we just said Lagunitas have a lot of similar tasting beers. It, it, I mean, now that you said it, like it does taste a little bit different from the little something something but it's still it still has that flavor of all their other beers yep. so I, th- I think it's a great beer i would gladly pick up another six pack to me it tastes like fist city does that ring a bell yeah yeah i could see that i t- it tastes like fist city to me uh, uh, revolutions uh fist city it, it tastes like a, a pale ale not i don't taste belgian wit when i think belgian wit i don't taste i don't the, taste anything belgian nope, or wit zero belgian i taste in this even wit wit is technically isn't like a white beer like a yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm I'm more of a beer drinker. Yeah. And I know what I like. I'm not, I can't give you the facts. That's what Danny's for, and that's why he's got to come back with a freaking. He, we, it's gonna be a long podcast when he comes back. To his yeah, stories. It's gonna be like two hours. The cats are playing in my camera bag. <laughs> <laughs> they are so goofy. <laughs> and um, so I'll actually let you rate this one first. All right, I did them the last podcast too on with Grant. Um, I'm giving this a three, not that um, because the taste of the beer is good. It's a solid beer. You can tell there's a lot of um, effort that went into the beer, and there's a lot of, there is flavor, and there is some impactfulness to it, and you could tell that it packs a punch at 6.3 alcohol per volume. Yeah. But only three because it's misleading. I don't, when I think Belgian wit, I don't think this. I think this tastes like a pale ale to me. Agreed. Um. <laughs> These cats are Sorry. adorable. We need, I need, hold on, I got to do some video. <laughs> Take some video too, kind of. Then we're sending. We, oh, of course. Now, see the typical cats. <laughs> as soon as you get out the goddamn camera, they stop no, no. doing shit. Um, I think it's a great beer. I think it's a little misleading, like you said. Um, Alyssa was her name. Alyssa. I think that was a funny, great conversation, even though it was quick. Um, so I, th- I think that kind of helped me with the rating a little bit because I think that I think it was cool to throw a number out like that to say just call and talk or something. Yeah, like it was that. just a call and talk to Lagunitas hotline. Yeah, I'm the gonna, numbers on the website. I'm not hiding anything. I'm gonna give this a three and a half actually. Um, All right, because I like floral beers and I that's the word floral. Floral. It's very floral notes. Very citrusy. But very I'd rather floral. have a Bell's Too Hard if I'm thinking. Whenever I think of floral, that's the first beer I go to. It's, it's one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I I like this one. I like the floral beers. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. I always love Lagunitas. I would buy another. Love drink. Lagunitas. They, yeah. they I, I, like I said, brown sugar and a little some some, fantastic beers. Yep. Fantastic beers. Um, but misleading. This that's why I give it a three. It's just misleading, and that's one thing I've always stated in this podcast. The last uh, show I did, uh, episode forty two with Grant. It was Avery Brewery's uh, uh, Persner Saison, per, uh, Perser per, Saison, I think it was. Okay. And it's exactly what you thought. Right. The, the, the description was, was exactly, it was like, remember we last night we were at Forbidden Root, we had that yep. strawberry. Oh, yeah, remember yeah. that taste, but it tasted like strawberry. It wasn't like this artificial crap strawberry yeah. from bubblegum. It tasted like a real like fresh, yeah. that's when I had this beer, it tasted like a real peach, like a real, like it tasted like peaches mm-hmm. and... I felt that was very leading. It was about it's like what you expected. That's what you should do for podcasts is to get a growler from Forbidden Root. Oh, we're going. I'm, I have yeah. that in plan. I'm probably going to get uh, the bartender, Polly there. And we're gonna do it. I would like to do it inside the um, the brewery, though. Oh, no, yeah. In the back absolutely. of the brewery. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've that. never taken you back there, right? Um, No. Yeah, we got to get you back there next no. time. It's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for episode 43 of A Brew With You. I am one of your hosts, Blake Mickle. You can find me, Big Deal Blake, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, but most importantly, patreon.com slash Big Deal Blake to get this episode entirely a week early. A week, wait, ent- a week early. Yes. This entire episode a week early. There we go. <laughs> this entire, yes. This week. Carry the two. Yes. Get this entire episode yes. a week early. Yes. Along with your extra rewards and exclusive content, Jeff. Yes. Thank you for being, mm, this is, your first time? No, this is your second time being a guest host. True, yeah. Your second All time other being a guest ones host. have been with someone. Um, it's been an honor always. Follow this guy. I love this guy. Um, and uh, if you need a trainer, right oh, here. Yeah, he's already um, in the works of working, uh, being the trainer for someone else. Can't um, name a person, but uh, yeah. And yeah. Um, I'm in the I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious about that. If you need, some, he'll be more than happy to give you some training tips. Whether advice. it's diet, food, health, health, whatever it is. 
Where do they follow you on Twitter? Um, Twitter, I'm at, at Jeff Stewart 83. There you go, Jeff Stewart 83, and just follow you can him. Follow me on 20, Twitter. Follow him and he'll, or ask him a question. He'll he'll answer some some advice. I'll he'll answer give you it like that. Yeah, he so. he knows his shit, and um, if uh, he can motivate me to do a half marathon, um, you know what does that tell you? Because I do a podcast about beer for so so yep. think about that for a second. <laughs> if you can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah, <laughs> freeze so. frame. Thank you for having me again. Appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was always a pleasure to have you on. We're gonna say more of you. We're gonna get Connie back on. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely gotta get Connie back on. Yeah, talk about these shoots you're going on. These 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 crazy shoots. I want to know more about. Yeah, and nice job, mm-hmm. Blake, for the past four weeks without without Danny. I oh, mean, thank like, you. I think you've done awesome with having. I think your... the show is actually better. What do you <laughs> no. think? No, he's we not love watching Danny. this now. Let's <laughs> talk shit about Danny. <laughs> <laughs> you've done good doing some backups. It was thank uh, you. You were kind of worried a little bit, I think, with getting some lineups. Yeah, well, it worked out with the, you know, we had the special live show. And good. this is going a little long, I don't care. Okay. Um, Bambi Q, and we had, uh, for the live show, we had Grant Simon for the last episode. We had you for this episode. We had, oh, I had Ryan Ebert. Um, great, crazy thing about Ryan. I didn't I learn this after the fact. That, I had a special guest host for that week. The person bailed out last minute. Understand this. Ryan Ebert answered a call, came over in a half hour. That's awesome. And then I found out, if you remember that episode, we were we were drinking at LAX, the, yeah. the airport. Yep. Found out why he picked that, because he's really moving to LA uh-huh. in a month. And I'm like, well, what amazing timing was that, that I got to hang out with him, see him with him, before he moves out to LA. True. It was just it was a great coincidence and perfectly timed. So that was really awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that worked out. Yeah. I think I think you did a good job lining them up. I think they all worked out good. So and we're looking for some ladies though. I'm yeah, realizing I got a lot of I'm getting a lot of got uh, some I need some ladies on the show here. Connie and I'm uh, trying to get Jojo on the show. Jojo. Jojo's in Colorado right now. She couldn't be on the show and uh, she can't be on the preamble. I try to yeah. get her for the preamble tonight. I'm shooting the preamble tonight after this, by the way. Um yeah, got to get some ladies on the show. Need yeah. some ladies, more it, ladies. It'll be good to have Danny back. Yeah, well, yeah, will it? <laughs> Talking shit about you, Danny. Are you watching you've this? Been, Call me out to prove that you're watching this. You've been replaced oh, by me, by the real skinny himself. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jeff. It's been a uh, great three month journey. We'll see what happens again. Good Drink job, some on, beers. good we, job on the half. See, that's a good train right here. So we celebrate by pizza, wings, and beer afterwards. That's Boom. a good prize. That's you know how I saying? do it. <laughs> um, all right, so on till next topic, next show. And the next one's on me. Boom.